Hi, my name is Veronica. In this video, I'm going to tell you about Neon Labs, an Ethereum virtual machine built on Solana. In one sentence, it allows DApp developers to use Ethereum tooling while having access to the Solana liquidity. The basic idea behind was to combine the best of both worlds. Ethereum has more than 300 DApps running on it, and those DApps include more over 6 million users. And this means that the community is very well established because Ethereum is so popular and so widespread. And this also means that there are many capable developers. Solana, on the other hand, has a much smaller user base. However, it is one of the most innovative and most advanced blockchains we have nowadays. It offers low gas fees, which means low commissions for transactions and very rapidly fast speed of those transactions. This is thanks to the parallel execution of transactions, which I'm going to talk about later. But because Solana is so advanced, there are fewer developers who can develop on it, especially in comparison to Ethereum. This is like there is a Linux OS that the developers know how to use, they're familiar with the tooling and they're comfortable writing code on it. And then there are many developers as well. And then there is another operating system which works incredibly well, incredibly fast, but it is very sophisticated. And therefore, most developers on Linux cannot write code on this one, and there are very few who can. The virtual machine would allow the developers to write the code in the familiar Linux ecosystem and then transfer it to the new one and then run it with the benefits of the new one. This is basically what the Neon Labs does, because it is an Ethereum virtual machine, as I already said. It allows Ethereum developers to write in a familiar language, like Solidity or Viper, and also use familiar tools like Metamask or Truffle, and then run the code in Solana without making any changes to it. Let's use an infographics to see how it works more precisely. Smart contracts generate transactions in accordance with the ERC20, which just basically means that the projects are written on Ethereum. The transactions are then submitted to the Neon EVM in Solana via a bridge. And on that bridge, we have uh, bridge operators who also get paid for the job. And this is also where you can withdraw your assets too. Neon then wraps the transaction to make it usable for Solana and checks it and sends it to the Neon Web3 proxy. The proxy servers are needed because the structure of transactions on Ethereum and on Solana is very different and therefore you need proxies to convert one to another. The proxy servers are maintained by the Neon EVM proxy operators, which is quite self-explanatory in the name. And by the way, you can become one of them and those get paid. And if you want to know more, I'm going to leave the link into how to become a proxy operator in the description box. The main need for something like Neon Labs manifests itself in the speed of transactions on Ethereum that very much limit the scalability and liquidity of the blockchain. To solve this, Neon Labs proposed to use Solana's parallel execution of transactions instead of the sequential one, so the blocks do not get executed one by one, but many at the same time. To put things into perspective, I'm going to give you some numbers. So if you're executing something just on Ethereum, you get a speed of up to 150 transactions per second. Solana's execution of transactions transactions, which is parallel one, you get up to 50,000 transactions per second. Neon Labs is a symbiotic cross-chain solution for Solana and Ethereum, because for Solana it brings a large user base of Ethereum and therefore increases the customer base, and for the Ethereum users it reduces the fees charged, it also increases rapidly very much the speed. Investors clearly saw that benefit as well, because in the private token sale that Neon Labs held not too long ago, they raised more than 40 million dollars. They raised that much on a private token sale, but what about a public token sale? It is yet to be announced. Right at the moment, the project is on the stage of testnet on Solana and soon to be released on the mainnet. It shouldn't be too long from now. The role of the token is not going to be just utility, but the governance. You're going to be able to vote on how the project is going to proceed on certain actions. If you have any questions or remarks, leave them in the comments. I would be very happy to reply to you. That was it for this project. See you in the next one. I couldn't leave you without the links overview, of course. We are on the main website right now, and from here I've told you most of the information. They have a bit more on the governance token and how it works. The information about Neon Swap is in their docs, where they have a specifically dedicated section on Neon Pass and Neon Swap. I'm going to show you them now. So Neon Pass is basically the ability to transfer SPL, SPL means Solana-based tokens, uh, to Neon, and then Neon Swap is the ability to migrate the applications from Ethereum to Neon without any difficulties and uh, any changes to the code. Let's go back to the website because we are not done there yet. 
but if you want to know more, docs should be your source of information. Going to the roadmap, we are almost at this stage because we are on the testnet and not on the mainnet. It is a Solana mainnet because um, Neon works as a smart contract of Solana. You can already build or integrate with Neon or become a proxy node operator. We have the team and since they got such a large sum of money on the private token sale, they are also hiring new team members, which uh, may be interesting for some of you. In the community, you have a Discord and a blog link. The blog is here. They have the newsletters and sometimes the articles, but it's not as big as the Discord community. The general page is just the typical general page. Not a game changer, but a nice add-on is uh, the Academy, where they send you a piece of crypto knowledge every day. Here is a YouTube channel. There are not too many videos, but it seems alive since the new video was two days ago. And now actually, bye.